Petillo Bridge, a through arch bridge that crosses the Fraser River between New Westminster and Surrey, British Columbia. Named in honor of Thomas Duffer and Petullo, the 22nd Premier of BC, it handles roughly 80,000 crossings per day, about 20% of all Fraser River crossings. In 1882, a steam ferry named KDK started the first regular crossing of the Fraser River, transporting residents and livestock from Brownsville, a small community in Surrey, to New Westminster. During the late 1890s, the need for a new bridge became apparent after the existing ferry was deemed insufficient to handle the future traffic demands. In 1902, construction began on the first bridge crossing, a combined two-deck road and rail span constructed of steel. Completed in 1904, the upper deck handled vehicular traffic, while the lower deck functioned as a railway bridge. As traffic continued to increase, the need for a higher capacity bridge was needed. Designed by supervising engineer Major W.G. Swan, construction of the bridge began in 1936. Tendered to the Dominion Bridge Company and Northern Construction and J.W. Stewart Limited, the bridge was open to traffic on November 15, 1937, by Premier Duff Petullo at a cost of $4 million. In symmetry and proportion, it is exceedingly pleasing to the eye and indeed a structure of beauty. Upon completion, Petullo Bridge stood proudly at a length of 4,026 feet with a center span of 438 feet. It was the longest vehicle-only bridge in British Columbia until the completion of the Lionsgate Bridge a year later. With the opening of the new bridge, the old bridge was converted to rail use only, and traffic was moved to Patello Bridge with an average volume of 5,000 vehicles per day. The bridge was originally tolled at 25 cents per crossing, gaining it the nickname Paytola Bridge, which was removed 15 years later in 1952. The Patello Bridge was the first major crossing in the southern greater Vancouver area during a time of rapid societal expansion and has served a pivotal role for almost 90 years connecting suburban areas with metropolitan Vancouver. The impending replacement of the Petula Bridge heightens its historical importance of steel through arch designs in BC, and so a part of British Columbia's structural engineering history will become extinct. Originally painted silver gray, the upper archway of the bridge was painted orange in the early 60s to help with visibility and to match the newly constructed Portman Bridge upriver. With the bridge deck only 40 feet wide, each lane is two feet narrower than the average lane width. And with no room for any sort of center barrier, the Petulo Bridge is highly prone to head-on collisions, especially at excessive speed or in bad weather. You'll often see trucks driving in the center of the two lanes to avoid the possibility of a collision. TransLink has also installed a series of plastic pillars to raise the visibility of the center lane divider. Originally built to last only 50 years, the bridge has outlived its life expectancy, but does not meet current wind and seismic standards and may be vulnerable during an earthquake or hurricane level windstorm. In 2018, Premier John Horgan announced that the BC government will spend close to $1.4 billion on a new bridge to replace the 87-year-old Petula Bridge. The new Patella Bridge will be toll-free and it will make life more affordable for people as they cross on the cross, whether they in business or looking to get to a different a part of the city, a different part of the lower mainland. Construction is well underway on the replacement span, which will improve access on both the New Westminster and Surrey sides of the bridge. The new bridge will improve safety and reliability for drivers, cyclists, pedestrians, as well as the movement of goods. It will be designed to meet modern seismic, structural, and roadway design standards. Serving the Greater Vancouver region for nearly a century, this iconic structure, nearing the end of its life, will soon be forgotten.